All right, today we're going to talk about how to create charts. Charts help you visualize your data. You can see more in a chart sometimes than you can in a table. So we've got this company, Adderley Corporation, and they've got something called an income statement. Income statements show how much money you bring in at the top. This is called the revenue. And they so the total revenue you can see, this is a formula that um, sums up um, the amount of revenue they had in 2015. And so um, then you have expenses. These are the, this is the money going out. And so you can see they had marketing that's, you know, um, you know like online, they, maybe they um, market through billboards or television ads and so forth. Production, which is used to actually make the product administrative cost. And so your total expenses would be the total of those, of those uh, columns. So, and then what you can do from there is you can copy those across and then your net income is the amount, amount of money you have coming in minus um, the expenses, the money going out. And that gives you what we call your net income. So it's just an income statement. But it's hard to visualize the data and see how the company's doing. So let's try to create a chart. Let's create a chart. And I want to use, really, I just want to know what the revenue is and where it's coming from. And I want to see that visually. Um, there is a button here on your main toolbar here for charts you can just but first of all let's highlight the range of cells that we want to form the the chart so i do that first and then i click insert chart and bam it comes up with the chart it's a little hard to see right now on this but um i should have um i'm gonna i'm gonna close the chart editor so you can see so it shows online sales and retail sales and you can see in 2015 the x-axis is the year and uh, it shows that basically an upward trend in both retail and online they're pretty close together as they grow over the years and it shows you the amount of each this is the y-axis right here okay so if i double click on this chart it'll actually give me the information i need over here to edit that chart so for example i can change it from a, a column chart i can change it to um uh, let's say a line chart that kind of shows let me close this again and it kind of shows you maybe the trend a little better perhaps notice that retail sales actually surpassed online sales so you might be asking yourself gosh if, if i'm analyzing this company why did why did that happen what caused that to occur so let me note, note I'll point this out to you you can you can click this chart and you can move it off to the side and it's going to go off the edge but um that's the way in this particular case i want it to be off to the edge but it sometimes is a little tricky because if you just click and try to move it it won't do it you have to click on it first and then it will move okay so um let's switch this back to a double click on it remember and it tells me the different types i can i can i can change it up uh, lots of things I can customize it, but um, but you can do that here when you double click on it. OK, I'm going to close the chart editor out. I'm going to move this over to the side and then let's talk about how we can do another one. Let's say I wanted to see how expenses were doing. Well, I can highlight these and those are the expenses. The problem is the X axis is right going to be up here. It automatically takes the first part of your range as the X axis and then it takes the, the other ranges you highlight as the Y axis. So what we really need to do here is probably insert a row and then just bring our years down. This is a quick and easy way of doing this. Um, there's other ways of doing this that are probably better, but I'm just going to paste this in control V. And now I've got the years above my expenses. So I can highlight this and then I can go again back to my chart button. And it creates me a chart. I'll move the, I'll change. I want to change that to a, uh, I like the column a little better. So um, you can take a look at that and you can see uh, what's been going on. So when you look at this, you know, it might tell you something. It might tell you, you know, maybe one type of expense has been growing um, really greatly. So, um, so that's how you might make some quick charts.